Zechariah, what can I do for you? I'm looking for my friend Scott. He just disappeared. Any idea where he could have gone? Mm, can't say that I have. He's not at the caravansary, though. If you want, I can check with my informants. Might have joined the caravan that just left, though. Your pal looked like he was missing or fear, honestly. Then again, maybe he was kidnapped. Never can tell. Just let me know if you hear anything. I need to find him. Thanks for the help. My pleasure, as always. They found some ancient documents. Looks like they date back to the settlers, but they're written in a language I can't read. And I thought you technomancers were so well versed in our old dialects. Maybe in Aurora. In abundance, we're soldiers first and last. We learned some colonial knowledge during training, but the languages are barely taught. The Great Master was the only one who had that kind of knowledge. So, now you need a technomancer from Aurora to translate. I might know of someone. A renegade of sorts who left Shadowlair to become a hermit. Word was, though, your former comrades captured him. If he managed to hide what he was, he's probably a captive in one of their forced labor camps. And getting to him won't be easy. Exactly. But if you want your document translated, you might just have to find a way. I think I know the camp Dandolo mentioned to you. It sounds like their main camp, so I wouldn't be surprised if the man you're looking for is there. And I want to go with you. Have a few things to settle there. This is important to me, Zachariah. What they do to the prisoners there is inhuman. I just want to help as many as I can. You're not telling me something, are you? I was a prisoner there once. I can't tell you what they did to me. I'm just asking you. Take me with you. I get why you'd want to free him, but it also makes me nervous about letting you tag along. If we get there and you let your emotions run away with you, it's my life you're risking too. You know me better than that. You've seen me keep my cool in the worst situations. Think about it all you want, but I'm the one who knows that camp by heart, remember? It's gonna be more dangerous for you to go in without me. Judging from Nisha's face, not something pretty. I feel like I'm driving a hearse. Whatever you're thinking, it's a thousand times worse. You're taking us to hell. But aren't they called work camps? More like prisons, where the primary goal is to break spirits and destroy free will. Their final products are submissive beings akin to farm animals, and their methods end up destroying some and brainwashing the others. This Aurora Technomancer we search for must be hiding in plain sight. He'll be very discreet, so we'll have to look for someone normal. Almost too normal. I hope we're able to free the other prisoners. We could help them get a fresh start in Noctis. I know you want to sit with the cool kids, but my rover can only hold so many people. Sorry, can't take everyone. 
If we can distract the guards, I can get Dandolo to send a rescue team. It wouldn't be the first time he's done that. If Dandolo can bring the manpower, we can bring the diversion. We'll free them. Understand, Zach. Coming back here free, armed, with my rights returned to me, it's priceless. Thank you for bringing me here. I can't tell you how much it means to me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
be able to force this lock. I need a key. I need a key to open this door. Oh! <laughs> 
Go through here.
Hi, Nisha. Hi, Zach. Tell me more about the rehab. I don't really like to talk about it. It's a terrible place, you know? A place that's... When you get there, you receive a uniform with a number, and you become that number. The food is scarce, and you've got to earn it by working hard. The water is rationed, and you have to give up your soul to get some. There are work areas. It's tough work. The type of work you would give to mutants in the cities. There's no downtime. You're always sleep deprived, food deprived, water deprived. The only times of rest you get are the education sessions. What are those? Brainwashing. You're locked up in a dark room where they stream messages in a loop. Messages that you have to repeat, like mantras. If you make a mistake or fall asleep, they electrocute you. The chairs are wired. You're watched. And if you show that you're unhappy with your fate, then hell really begins. And with it comes torture. I... I would prefer to change the subject. What's in the nearby camp? Sure, I've heard... Are you all right? Hey, are you Professor Charles Seeker? I am. And you? You are. What does a technomancer want with you? Long story, Professor. Just know I'm a friend of Scott's. We looked for you in Ophir. Even got our hands on some of your notes, but, um... My research notes? On technomancers? How? I coded them to make sure those ASC thugs couldn't read them. Did you manage to read them? I just gave them to Scott. Oh, good. Good, good. Uh, I'm sure he deciphered them with no trouble. Scott's eccentric, I know. A little unstable, even. Especially since he lost his child. But even still, he is the greatest mind in abundance. A genius who's focused his research on people like you. Technomancers. I'm sure my notes, which I pray no one but you and Scott will see, will be a great service to him. I was able to prove nothing, really, but my work pointed to a high probability that the abilities of your kind stem from what Earthlings called gene therapy. Not sure what that means, Professor. <sighs> yes, yes, of course. Uh, they modified genes to cure disease, provoked mutations, modifications that got passed on to offspring as well. Uh, look, in theory, at least. A theory I will never get to test now, I'm afraid. Being held here. Well, I suppose it's better this way. Undeniably incredible research, but research that could also, unfortunately, lead to the enslavement of your kind. Cast you as just another mutation to be contained, you know? Afraid of, of what they don't know. And while I'm sure there was good intention in their creation of your mutation, no one can say what that reason is. Can you keep this a secret, Professor? My lips are sealed. Now and forever. No one else will ever be privy to my research. Thank you, Professor. Take care.
Hi, Zach. Hello, Amelia. Hello. I'm looking for someone. A rather old man. What is the man doing in the camp? He was locked up here because he was living away from corporations. He's a technomancer like me, but way older. And he comes from Aurora. He is not sure, but he believes he recognized that the old man had the Aurora way of speaking. Uh, but he thinks that the man is mistaken because he is not a technomancer. He doesn't make lightning bolts. He is a mechanic, not a good mechanic. Thank you very much for the information. Hello, I'm looking for someone. A man? He doesn't mingle with men. Men avenge themselves upon them, so he stays away. All right, I understand. Goodbye. Looking for an old man. He's from Aurora, and he used to be a technomancer. Well, you're looking for him in the wrong place. It's true that there's a guy with a funny way of speaking, but I can't believe that he's from Aurora. That sounds crazy. What would he be doing here? Who is that man? His name's George. An old guy, as you said, and the way he speaks sounds funny. Anyway, as if he were making fun of us with complicated words. He's a mechanic, though. Hmm. This could mean that he studied within the elite and a corporation that were a little... precious. Thank you.
I'm looking. Well, who is this? Mm. I'm looking for an old. Well, you're looking for. Who is that man? His name's George. An old guy, as you said, in the way he. Mm. Hello. A man. All right. Hello. Uh -huh. Unlock this gate, the prisoners can get out and hide while Dandolo sends in backup. I'll take care of that then. The more people we can get out of this hell home, the better. Hello. 
I'm looking for a man. A man in your age range. A technomancer. A technomancer? Here? <laughs> you must be mistaken, my boy. There is no technomancer here. The prisoners of war are sent elsewhere. Here we are taught to think like good citizens of abundance. How old are you? Seventy? Hmm. Fifty years old, but I had a hard life. Unfortunately, that leaves its mark. Like technomancy takes its toll as well. I don't know what you mean. I don't know anything about technomancy. You should talk to someone else. I've heard that mechanics isn't your forte. It's a good hideout, isn't it? The person who told you that I'm not good is simply bad-mouthing me. If you say so. But this doesn't explain the way you speak. Polished for a mechanic. Listen, let's cut to the chase. Just let me look at your temples and that'll be it. I? You are the pain in the neck, you know that. Very well, I am the one you are looking for. And your relentless questioning puts me in jeopardy if the word gets out here. I specifically came to this camp in order to find you. You brought back a dome lost in the sands, a tablet that I'm unable to translate. Hmm. It is written in the settlers' coded language, one they use for the important data. By all means, I can translate it, but this type of thing can take time, and I can't do it here. Come with us to Noctis. I am sure that you'll find a place to stay. Noctis? The city of the merchants. It's an independent city. There you won't have to fear Aurora or Abundance. Well then, I'll follow you. That's fucking amazing. And hilarious. Guy manages to hide who he really is. Technomancer from Aurora, right under the noses of the worst assholes in Abundance's history. Let's go. I'm glad to leave this place. Me too. I don't care where you take me. Anywhere is better than prison. It stank like fucking death in there. I don't know what to say. I feel ashamed. I'm from Abundance. What they do to people in there... Inhuman. To think that even Ophir looks like a paradise after seeing such a place. I am grateful, however, for we managed to save a few souls. You okay, Nisha? No, not really. I don't want to talk about it right now. I get that the place could have triggered some bad memories. I'm sorry, Nisha. Dendo, this is Patience, the Technomancer you told me about. Ah, nice. Free of that shadow-forsaken labor camp. Must have been a living hell. A sincere pleasure to meet you. Yes, nice to be free, but to be honest, I'm now stuck with no place to go. Camped and won't go back to Aurora. And Abundance was always so accommodating that I can imagine the hospitality if they had known about my talents. Damn the ASC. And ever since my little desert refuge has been discovered, it's become a tad less cozy. Here I am, no roof, no real belongings. Only thing I have is this guy here who won't leave me alone until I translate some ancient text for him. Well, I can't help with Mr. Menser's needs for a translator, but I can give you a roof. It's the Noctis way, for we say, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Welcome to your new home, patience. There are some empty houses in the northern part of the city. I'm sure we can set you up there. Thank you. And a sincere pleasure to meet you, Dandolo. Zachariah! Hi, Nisha. Hi, Zach. Good morning, Zachariah. Our brothers are still at their stakeout, but if you need any help, just let me know.
Good morning, Zachariah. Looks like patience is gone. And judging by the mess, I doubt he left willingly. Bet you all the serum in the world the fucking ASC's behind all this. They need to be stopped before they overrun Noctis. And I need to find patience. Fuck, and the tablet. After trailing the groups you mentioned, it's obvious that they each have a few people among them who aren't just looking for you, but purposely seeding unrest in the population, and maybe pushing for an uprising. Then we need to stop it. Here's a description of everyone we found. Give me your map. There. I've marked every place you can find them. Shouldn't be hard for you to get them now. Finally gets the message, they ain't wanted here. Just as long as it doesn't push Victor to send twice as many people back. Not a chance now that Dandolo can't deny the ASC's a problem here anymore. No, now he's gonna be forced to deal with them.
Zachariah. I was just starting to worry. What for? Bad news, I'm afraid. The ASC's not only in Noctis, but they're starting to threaten its safety. I know you did what you could to get rid of their spies, but if you stay here, they'll come back. And now we may be open to a direct attack from Abundance. I'm sorry, Zachariah. They're after you and your friends. I can't risk the safety of all my people for just you. So you're turning your back on us? No, no. I would never turn my back on a friend. I set a meeting for you with the Technomancers from Aurora. Their arms are open. You'll be safer from Victor with them by your side. You just can't stay here. Why are you helping me? A scratch on the back for what I hope will be a long-term relationship, Mr. Manser. They'll meet you under one of their shadow paths. Take the map. You'll be well received. Now get going. As soon as you can gather your things and friends together. The longer you stay, the more danger those of us around you face. How'd you manage to get in touch with Aurora's Technomancers? It wasn't easy, but we have agents in all of the Corporation's cities. The equivalent of Nisha, but not as easy on the eyes, lives in Shadowlair and was our point on this little mission. Their Technomancers are quite knowledgeable, powerful, and I assume the idea of having one of their counterparts from Abundance join them and give them a little upper hand probably put a few smiles on their faces. But their chief's name... It's slipping my mind. Profanity? No, something more. Uh, chastity? Promiscuity? Generosity? Yeah, that's the one. Their chief's named Generosity, I think. He's quite chummy with the Dowser wisdom, I hear. Shouldn't be too hard for him to make you feel welcome. So set your mind at ease. Hello, Phobos. Hello, Zachariah. Hi, Hi, Zach. Now we're headed back to Aurora. This is the definition of insanity. Do you think they know how many times I've attacked them? I'm really sorry, Zack. I'm sure Dandolo would have preferred to keep us all in Noctis. It makes me uncomfortable, but we can't keep Noctis under Victor's crosshairs. He wouldn't hesitate to wipe it off the face of Mars just to get his hands on you. I don't know about that. Big Bad Victor is definitely a manipulative rat, but he's gonna have a lot of trouble wiping out a city like Noctis using a couple of harebrained schemes. Do the corporations differ all that much? I know you were raised to think so, but as a mutant, I only see humans bickering over petty squabbles. The differences don't matter now, especially since they're welcoming you with open arms. Supposedly, technomancers are treated well. Here's the truth. I know this transition's gonna be hard for you. Aurora may ask you to fight against your former corporation. You may end up on the battlefield against men and women you knew from before. And at least there's no chance of coming up against an old Technomancer, buddy. Because they're all with you. Well, except for that Snake Allen. That doesn't really matter, right? What bothers me is that they're gonna commandeer my baby. I'm one of you, Zack. I like you, but if they try to take my rover, I'm out. So fucking out! It's me and my rover or nothing.
going yeah. to take you down! You won't get away! Ah, the last fight before freedom, Zachariah! Release him. Let him serve as our messenger. I hope, Zachariah, that you'll forgive this little charade. But it was a means to an end, necessary to ensure peace of mind, the safety of Noctis, and those who will now welcome you. The ASC now believes you uprooted yourself to Aurora, or they will never go looking for you. So, keep a low profile here, and you'll have nothing to fear. I hope that suits your needs. To send you to Aurora was never really an option. The political climate is not exactly conducive to a Technomancer. And here you have Phobos, who's offered to open the doors of his home to you. But I'll leave him to explain this better. Your brothers and sisters will follow you. Be well, Zachariah. Oh yes, one last thing before you go. So, I have some troubling news about your friend, Scott. Where is he? Mutants spotted him near the Shadow Path. Come here. Let me show you on the map. Why would he go there? Haven't the slightest. There's an Abundance outpost there. Might have been taken there by force. From what my informants told me, he looked like he was in a precarious situation. Thanks for the info, Dandolo. Oh, you won. I got ripped off. Dandolo had planned everything from the start. The costumes, the rover repair, and he even let Victor settle down without a word. All of that just to organize a fake meeting. What did I tell ya? A douchebag with real nice clothes is still a douchebag. Even though he totally fucked us over, I gotta say, what you just did back there? Real classy. Victor the Dictor is probably having a little tantrum. <laughs> I'm glad you find it amusing, Nilia. Go south, my people's refuge isn't far away. But you have to know where to look, or you'd never be the wiser. What's it like? A magical city hidden away in a floaty island or something? Nothing like that. It's a valley, or perhaps more accurately, a crater. There is vegetation there unlike anywhere else. Truly something you've never seen before. A secret place that's one of a kind? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm used to not being welcome wherever I go. This place, won't we be despised for who we are? After what they've all been through, the grudges they hold against mankind, are more than understandable. But I'm worried, Phobos. Will your support be enough to grant us safe passage? I believe so. But I'll also need to ask for Scum's support. He's our best orator. So as long as he's on board, it won't be a problem. Farewell, Noctis. I'm sorry to have to leave you this way. I'm sorry, Nisha. Stop. It's not your fault. It's Victor's. I just hope I can come home soon. You can't do your business here, but you cannot enter the valley. No human is allowed there. There must be a way to make an exception. Sorry, Phobos. You know that I respect you, but I am following orders. To be honest with you, it is for your friend's safety. I do not know how they would welcome them in there. Maybe if another speaker supported them. I will go see Scum. I managed to see him. He offered me something. Scum is an important figure here, one of the great speakers. People listen to him. If he supports you, you will be able to get in without being lynched. But 
He wants you to prove yourself by helping a group of mutants. From what he hears, a group of mutants have escaped a labor camp. They have not arrived here, though, so he fears they have found trouble. We will need to find them and see what has gone wrong. Bring them safely to the valley, and you will not only earn their support, but scums as well. Quite the asset. All right. Do we know how they were supposed to get here? The shortest and safest route to take is the canyon, right here. Let's go see what happened to them. Wow, we roll up a fucking red carpet, why don't you? Don't hold it against them. These are mutants who escaped slavery and abuse. It makes sense that they aren't completely pleased that their torturers have come up to their doorstep. Fuck that. I never tortured anyone. Never made one of them my slave. But you lived in the system that allowed it. Like all of us. Except Phobos, of course. 